Cheating! Time to pink the engine room. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Roberta. And I'm Yuka. And for the past year, we have been building our own tiny shipping container house, so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we are going to go back and finish the house. As you guys know, the engine is working. But since we tried the engine, like, I don't know, 8, 10, 10 maybe, almost 12 months, year, almost no? a year ago, <laughs> we done a lot of things around the engine and we got everything dirt, all the wires are still loose, we have some holes that we want to replace. So we are going to take give some time to the engine now, to the engine room, to the whole pack. So let's do a list of things we need to do. We need to finish the connections for the water heater that goes from the water heater to the engine, so that two hoses and two valves. What else? We need to replace some hoses for the engine. Yeah, like uh, three hoses for the engine. We need to replace the insulation. Yeah, at first we thought we were not going to uh, replace the insulation for a better material, but as we are doing all that, we are going to, we decide to replace, so yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I mean, like, it's going to be better, this insulation being here for a long time and it's like losing a lot of small pieces on the engine room and that's not good. It's smelling bad and the other one we can clean easily. And it's safer, easy. I think the other yeah. one is more like uh, fireproof and everything. Yeah. And what else? We are, you're I think that's it, right? Yeah, you're going to start and if we forgot something, you were going <laughs> to see it. Yeah, you're going to know, <laughs> but we're going to start by, I think, taking apart these, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a mess. And for that, we need to cover the engine because it's gonna be a mess. Ta da! Let's cover the engine. <laughs> My empty heart walks on and on. It's always lonesome, yet not alone. Always trying to feel void inside. I've tried moving on. Forgetting you, but it's hard to replace when it's a part of you And nothing ever compares to you and me Oh, I think about you every night Tell me, what am I supposed to do? Cause I feel like nothing without you You guys must be tired of seeing us scrapping some foam, right? Check our progress! Yeah, it seems like nothing, but we already did a lot of work. Are you ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it came off. Yeah, Roberta said it's going to be easier for her to work if we take the doors off. So, your wish is a reality now. Thanks, babe. <laughs> It was a lot harder than I expected and now I need to find a way to clean all of this. First try, loose solvent. Hello! <laughs> The reason why we are doing this modification, because here used to be just a hose, but the hose would bend because of the wires from the quadrant. So now we have this knee, and in this way it won't touch here and won't bend. I think it's a better solution. Do they call it knee or 
elbow, knee, elbow, knee. Yeah, you got the point, the curve. <laughs> So which hose is this one? This is the hose that brings salt water to cool the engine. So basically the salt water comes from the flange all the way behind the toilet there. And then from there we'll come around into here. Basically we are replacing this hose. So from here is, I guess it's just a filter to any big particles that comes in the salt water won't go to the engine. And from here after this filter comes through this hose in our ground and goes to the heat exchanger that is this hose that we're gonna replace later so instead of trying to do a 90 degree turn with this hose that's gonna bend this we just did an actual curve and I think that's gonna be much better for the system and that's the reason why we need this to connect this hose to the curve Why are we doing this? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the. No need to be like a thesis about this. <laughs> I'm gonna be quick. The engine room has uh, insulation for heat and for noise. noise. She knows how to explain, but she wants me to explain. Yeah, I'm working. Yeah, so basically, the old insulation wasn't that good. It was like just like, you know, like losing parts of it. So we decided to take all the insulation off and we decided to install a brand new, more efficient insulation material. Chemicals today. <laughs> Chemicals face, look at that. Basically we are applying epoxy to all the wood of the engine room because as we are gonna replace the insulation material and the new material we bought has a double side tape, it's just glued with the tape on the walls with a lot of... Um, a little particles from the old material is gonna lose up really easily, it's gonna unglue really easy so we are gonna apply one coat of epoxy to make sure that the surface is like really good for the bound of the glue. I think it's gonna be really well glued, right? What do you think? Oh, so I think it's gonna be fine. I like to do this job actually. Yeah, it's a nice one. Puedes decir sí, quién puede decidir. Sin rodeos, dice simplemente soy así. Si no nos lo notificas, el silencio sigue ahí. No simule ser sincero, reconoce solo, di que sí. This is amazing actually. Yeah, so this, the way this is gonna be installed is by double side tape. So you just take this apart and you glue in place. Yeah, but first we need to find the right design of shapes because it's gonna be a lot of different panels. It's gonna be a fun puzzle because yeah. there is no dirt, it's just like, you know, just a cut, glue, cut, glue. Time lapse it is then, right? Yeah. <laughs> Time lapse. <laughs> Never mind, we are gonna show you in details the first one. At least the first one, so you understand what we are doing and then we can just enjoy the music and do some time lapse. Do you think this is straight? Pretty straight, I guess. <laughs> straight enough. <laughs> Would you go all the way here? No, I think this is good. This is good, this distance? Yeah. So now you hold really tight here. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. just like the first one. Yeah, now you get this, like this. This there. reminds me when we insulated the tiny house. <laughs> that was a 
long time ago. Yeah, but now you just take this little thing here. Can I put it? Slowly, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit and then we put down. Can we put that? That's really really good actually. Better than magic? Yeah, now is the tricky part. This was just one piece. Now we need to cut lines and pieces and this is gonna be a little bit trickier. Let's see from here. And whenever we have light inside, check this out. It's gonna be much brighter inside of here. It's gonna be much better to work here. Much, much better to work. Way better than before. <laughs> yeah, the other one was like dark. So if you lit a light here, it would be dark anyways. Now we just have one light bulb and check this out. It spreads so well. And also check the sound. Oh 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 one two three. Yeah, we can have a band inside of here, <laughs> it can be a recording studio or it can be voiceover studio. Yeah. That yeah. will be great. If you don't find these days, I'm <laughs> gonna be recording voice over here. You just come check in the engine room. <laughs> it's not done yet, as you can tell. We left a tail behind. Uh, there is always a tail behind. Yeah, we have this oil tank that we didn't agree on what to do with it yet. I want to insulate around and leave this behind because this is really well tied here. Hobera wants to. What do you want? I want to do like a kind of uh, an extension for the support and to have insulation in the whole door as it's our cabin there. Yeah, but if we put this forward, that's mean, that means more momentum on the support. And then I think this is insulated enough. This wall is really thick. We are going to discuss this that as a family and then we're going to decide what to do and then we're going to finish that. But there is also one more thing we need to do. We need to use tape around. Yeah, we want to seal all these joints because we have like different panels to compose the whole engine room. And if we seal really well the joints, it's going to seem like one material and like humidity and dust won't go inside of the foam. It's going to be much more protected and for that we're going to use... 
You're gonna use the same one as you use it on the shipping container house. It's uh, aluminum tape. Yeah, it's the one that they use on uh, air, air conditioning systems. It's just like a yeah, it's a simple aluminum foil tape that glues really well to aluminum foil. Yeah, but that's gonna be tomorrow because yeah. today it's late. Yeah, it's yeah. At all, almost nine o'clock. PM. <laughs> yeah, the day was so hot that we decided not to work during the day. We edit videos during the day and we work dur during the night today because it was just too hot to work. It's serious. Yeah, but by nine o'clock we are like, we need to eat. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. good to me <laughs> yeah that was not my solution that was not her solution her better solution was both them together yeah yeah it's good when you get like midterm so I had the idea of cutting 100% this off and just put this inside Roberta wanted to create a new support and put this outside so now we have like halfway inside <laughs> we put the, the plump what's the name of the shumbo uh, lead because this has lead inside there is like a layer of foam lead foam aluminum we took both foams off we put lead and aluminum it's pretty good I yeah. mean it's enough <laughs> and there, this is also insulation so and the door is really thick yeah it's gonna be enough it looks pretty but we need the final test yeah yeah the real one now let's see if close because this is really tight fit is that good it's perfect Let's see. It's so cool. Yeah. We just have a gap here because otherwise it won't close. We need a small gap in order to close. But for me, it's just really, really good. Let's tape. It looks amazing. Yeah. Tape it is. Let's see how it's inside of this. It's the first time we open this up. What's but this? This is the like salt water filter. Yeah, like yes. the, yeah, the, like the ocean water comes to this part of the filter and leaves this way and goes to the engine. <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is our hot water tank. Yeah, this is hot water tank and also a heater. There is two ways we can heat water using this. One of them is electricity. There is a uh, connection here for electricity, so it's 110 volts can heat the heat the water. And also we can heat using the hot water from the engine. We have a thin aluminum 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 pipe. pipe yeah running around inside of this tank and inside of this aluminum pipe the water comes in from here and from the bottom here there is another hose so the water comes circulates inside of this aluminum pipe 
aluminum and pipe and goes out through here. So we have two hoses, one in and one out, and we have the choice of closing the valves. In this way, we don't circulate the water here. It's just because we don't want to keep making hot water if you're not gonna take a shower. We're just gonna turn on the heater when you're taking a shower. Otherwise, if you're just running the engine for like 48 hours and you're not gonna take a shower, we just close this. That's and another important thing, if you have a problem with the aluminum pipe on the heater exchanger, uh, you don't lose the water on the engine. I can and still you use don't the lose yeah. engine. Yeah, I can use, still use the engine. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, if we have any problem here, we would not be able to use the engine. So now we have like a you know just valve close. system, yeah. and we're just connecting to the engine because we want to run a test on the engine this week. That's the goal. Hopefully, yes. we're gonna finish the engine by the end of the week. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Challenge accepted. <laughs> That's it, all done. Now, all we need to do is to actually replace these holes. Why? Because we realized that this is the cold water coming into the water heater, but if you heat the water, it expands, and when it expands, goes back a little bit the hot water. And this is not supposed to be used for hot water because there is a wire inside, and the wire can heat and cut the this hose so we need to have at least a small part of this hose with this kind of hot water hose so now we're going to replace this all the way to there like maybe a meter and something with this hot water hose that's enough space for expansion because the water when it hits expands but now I think you're going to do that tomorrow because it's time for lunch dinner agreed yeah there yes for now the engine room is pretty much done all we need to do is to tie these things up like all the wires and the hoses to you know organize them in a better way but we want to try to start the engine first yeah. so we can yeah if we need ready. if we there's something wrong with the engine we need to fix something we're not gonna waste work so it's better just to fire the engine see if everything's okay and but for now I think the engine is ready but we if, cannot if you are new here, we already did start the engine a year ago, I guess. And yeah. it was working, but we replaced a lot of hoses and a lot of yeah, things. But the different thing is that back then, we hired someone to fix ah, the engine. Yeah. And this time, we are going to start the engine just the two of us. And Fred, of course, Fred's our guru. But we did a lot of things yeah. this time. This time, we took the hoses off, we installed hoses back, we installed it, we put some, we add water to the heat exchanger. We did all the three of us, me, Roberta and Fred. So you now it's I so think it's more now yeah. it's more exciting to to fire the engine and it's been one year one year is a long time, but before we do that there is a n one more tricky task we need to do. Ah, we just need to close the diesel tanks and to just, put yeah. some hose back. And it's yeah. really simple. It's like six hundred or seven hundred liters of diesel in a huge tank that if it leaks it's gonna be a mess and we need to move in the boat with diesel it's around. Smelling. Yeah. So fingers crossed we are gonna close the lids of the diesel tank and it's not gonna leak. Because if that leaks, that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's not gonna leak. Fingers crossed. Next week we close the diesel tank. Next week we fire this engine. But for this week, we are. It's wrap. No, we need to welcome on board our new patrons for this week. That's true. So welcome on board. Albert. Jason. Matthew. Jason. Robert. Gary. Eric. Tauri. And we also want to thank all the donations through our PayPal. So thanks so much, Brett. Patrick. Nadine. And once again, it's Kali. <laughs> guys, thanks so, so much. We really, really appreciate your support. And we see you guys next week. Next week with hopefully a diesel tank that doesn't leak. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So guys, next Monday. See, see ya.